Hey guys, so I'm pretty uh, excited for this little uh, opening. So uh, there's a uh, lot of albums that I want, obviously. Uh, and some of them uh, are hard to find. Some of them you can find, it's just kind of hard to find at a uh, reasonable price. You know, what I'd consider to be a reasonable price at least. Uh, and yeah, every once in a great while I finally stumble upon a listing for it at a good price. But what rarely happens is I'll find one seller that's selling multiple albums that are hard for me to find at a good price and they were listed at a good price. So I get that combined shipping too. And that's the case with this. So I got two CDs here, so let's just fucking get into it. So as I said, Two CDs. I did include a little receipt paper, no handwritten notes or anything like that. So just a generic receipt. Who cares? But first off, uh, the album Leaf in a Safe Place. So I'm uh, fairly familiar with the uh, the album Leaf. It's post rock, it's a highly solid project. But uh, what's interesting about this album, what really made me want to uh, track it down, is uh, it's actually. Uh, recorded in a uh, Secret Rose's studio. They own their own studio, mostly just for themselves. Every once in a while, they'll uh, let other musicians record there. And yeah, this has collaborations with uh, members of Secret Rose, so pretty cool to have it. Uh, I'm not sure if it was produced by anybody in Secret Rose. I don't remember that detail. I do have a little book here, so let's see, looking to see who produced it. Yeah, it was uh, co-produced by uh, John Bergerson, aka Yun Z. Uh, and Jimmy Lavelle, who I believe is actually, yeah, Jimmy Lavelle is uh, the actual guy behind the album Leaf. It's a little bit of, uh, I forgot what that thing's called, but that's always cool. And yeah, that's all the packaging to it, so pretty cool. Uh, next, we have. Uh, Del the Funky Homo Sapiens, Both Sides of the Brain. If you've ever listened to uh, Gorilla's first album, he was the guy that did the rapping. Always liked his uh, voice. And yeah, uh, a lot of people seem to think that uh, his work as Deltron 3000 is uh, his best work, but in my opinion, this album is uh, his peak. Yeah, I've wanted to get it for a long time. The store's had trouble being able to track it down at the right price. So I finally got it now, so I'm really fucking excited about that. So yeah, that's what I got for tonight. Might not seem like a lot. There's a lot to uh, get me excited, so yeah. Always got more on the way. I have for concert footage as well. Yeah, I'll see y'all next time.